That is going to be our assembly factory. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. Hope that you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, the game has officially released in early access at the time of recording this video. That was yesterday. I'm recording this on Tuesday. Uh, uh, Wednesday, I'm sorry. This is Wednesday. Um, thinking about doing another little rearrange of the base place. Uh, and what we're thinking about doing is increasing production of the kind of first tier items. So your plates, your screws, your wire, your cable, your concrete. Um, the reason I want to do this is because right now in the crafting of modular frames in rotors, I have a major, major uh, bottleneck when it comes to like screws and plates. And it's just basically because I'm not producing enough. So I'm thinking we're going to tear it down back to the basics and start to really produce that stuff. So I'm going to have one production line strictly going to storage. That's all it's going to do. It's not going to send anything anywhere else. It's just going to go to a storage box. So that way I can have access to that particular item. Uh, the uh, other machines, we're going to have other machines in that row. They're all going to be fed to a particular purpose. So instead of like i think right down here i'm making iron plates and these iron plates are going one of them's going to storage and coming up here and the other one is going over there to make i think reinforced iron plates that's going to each be its own machine to handle so we're going to be doing that today and then over there you can see we have a brand new building off in the uh the distance there that is going to be our assembly factory so the factory that we're in now will be the constructor factory. That's where all of the first tier things are going to go. Over there is the assembly factory. And we'll get over there soon enough so we can go in and take a look. But yeah, so I'm going to start kind of tearing back just a little bit. Uh, maybe doing a little bit of rearranging and whatnot. I have or I should have plenty of supplies on hand if I uh, need to redo some stuff. But yeah, we're gonna we're basically gonna tear back. I'm gonna throw in another miner. Um, we're gonna we're gonna tear back to the basic machines. Kind of get everything really organized because I want to expand. I know that steel is in the future, and we are going to need basically a lot more production than we have available to us right here in this moment. And I want to get to that point so we can uh, we can start rocking and rolling on that kind of show you guys a little bit of what I'm working with here. Uh, I am going to have these three miners come into these three holes on this side and they're going to feed into a conveyor belt that has a uh, splitter on it and each one of them is doing two uh, of the, uh, the, the smelters. So all of these are going to be doing iron ingots. So I just need to go through and adjust each and every one of them to do iron ingots. And then from there, I don't think there's any reason for me to be crafting iron ingots. Um, trying to look here. Uh, I think there is a point where I need iron ore, but that is not until later on. I think that's actually with, I think that's with steel maybe. I, I'd have to look into that. Um, but what I could do is once I get some steel production going, um, I know there's a couple other iron nodes around. I could just go get another iron node and run it in. Uh, but for now, this is the way that I want these three to work. Um, and then from there, each one of these is going to be feeding a constructor. Uh, let's see, uh, production constructor and hopefully yes. Uh, do, I think I want it kind of in the front line there. Is there going to be enough room or am I going to be offset on each one of these? I think I'm going to be offset just a little bit, but I'm, I'm going to try and get these to line up as best that I can. All right, so we've got the first two are iron plates. As far as I am aware, iron plates are only used in reinforced iron plates. Um, and then from there, so we'll have some of that go up to storage. Keep it in my desk. Um, and then screws, 
uh, or iron rods are used in screws, modular frame, modular frames, and rotors. Uh, so I have four of those things doing. One of them is going to go up to storage, and then we have a one for screws, modular frames, and rotors. Um, screws are used for three things, which is reinforced steel plates, rotors, and reinforced iron plates. So we're going to have to go one step further on a couple of these. Let's kind of uh, put them close together. So I, I'm, I'm not preparing this place for steel just yet. Um, basically, I, I'm trying to get it to a point where I'm okay with doing steel, but I want to get all of the, the kind of lower stuff, the iron tier stuff, settled. And then, you know, we can do a little bit of expansion. Like I said, we can always bring in another line uh, for iron. And I could bring in that other line for iron to do more screws um, later down the line. So now we have production of screws. Like I said, we're going to do reinforced iron plates and rotors. Um, I don't have a screw production. Oh, you know what? Iron rods, modular frames, rotors, and screws. So those are screws, rotors. I'm already breaking my brain. I'm already breaking my brain. Trying to get all of this stuff to, to line up the way that it should is, is hurting. But I think it's going to be okay because we need another thing for screws for storage. So one thing that I already forgot in my time here messing with this stuff is that each one of these smelters or I guess these are yeah smelters smelting stuff down into iron ingots um, can supply two constructors for making iron rods on their own so I've got all of these really close together and I don't have a whole lot more room to kind of spread things out so I'm thinking that the next row of constructors, I'm going to have it come out just a little bit further. Just kind of like, like that. We'll have this guy come in. Let's do another constructor next to it. Just kind of line it up. And then we're going to have to do a splitter on here. Like so. And that can support that. Ah, uh, this is getting to be, this is already getting to be more of a cluster mess than, uh, than I was really hoping for. I think I am going to have to take out this line and take these out and, and figure something else out for, uh, input of the supplies. Okay. I finally have every single one of the inputs hooked up to, uh, constructors what are these things called i've already yeah constructors um wait no i don't i lied i am a complete and utter liar i did not do that i said that i was doing that but let's do this really quick hook that up right there and then put this on right here hook that up so again i lied because this can be split off to one more smelter and I don't know where to go with that uh, at the moment so we're just gonna let it sit um, I have probably more than enough of these constructors uh, kind of doing different things so we are going to need four of them for screws if, am, I, am I correct in that assumption reinforced iron plates reinforced steel plates rotors and storage okay so um, more of these go in right in front. They can be right up on the previous ones. There's no reason not to. I mean, space is, is a good reason to, but hook those up just like so. And these are all going to be doing screws. These are going to be doing iron rods, iron rods. Iron rods. Oh, I'm sorry, this one's going to be doing screws. Screws. Iron rod. 
and then right over here is going to be doing screws and this one's going to be doing iron rods these are all going to be doing iron rods like so except for these last two are going to be doing iron plates should be more than enough all of these should be doing iron ingots yeah that first one is perfect iron ingot okay and then this one iron ingot and this one iron ingot okay so if I were to start production right now, we should have four things of screws, uh, four things of iron rods, which is totally overkill, I think. Um, no, it's actually not. That's exactly what we need. And then two things of iron plates. Um, so I think, I think we're good as far as this stands. Now I need to start doing some routing of, of things to storage. Um, but I think uh, we're going to take all this down. I'm going to remove what's up there and uh, then we'll kind of start putting stuff into storage and routing stuff around to where it needs to be because right now it's a cluster and that's okay. I'm okay with it being a little bit of a cluster, but it needs to be an expandable cluster. That way, if I need more stuff, I can get more stuff because right now... I was really, really limited. I was not thinking about expansion in any way, shape, or form, so. All right, so I'm starting to get somewhere. I've got plates, rods, and screws gonna be coming up to storage. Uh, and it's basically just gonna swing wide way up there and, and connect. I don't see any reason to run another set of uh, belts over here. I could be wrong on that. I'm, I, I'm, I'm torn. But this is this is an easy like adjustment if I need to do so. But this gets these things going right now, and then they go up there, and then they get sorted out. I did have to do a little bit of storage shifting, as far as that's concerned. But I think really quick while I'm sitting here, you know, like not doing much of anything except for sorting stuff out, I want to go ahead and get some things uh, hooked up. So let's go ahead and hook up some power to some stuff so that way we can start producing more. Or start producing again, I guess I should say, uh, because right now I'm not producing much of anything. Uh, so that guy is good. You have one connection to you. So I want to place these guys right down here like kind of in between two of them if I can like so am I gonna make it no I didn't make it and then that those two have got one those two have got one then these two and then these two down here just like so and then we can start connecting up with wires and start heading back to the previous machines. I wish the power cables lit up just a little bit better than they do because it's a little hard to see them sometimes. All right, so I've got power hooked back up. I think we are pretty close to set to start funneling in what we need. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and just hook that one up to there. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Don't do that come from that belt to there and then that belt to there very good and then I actually don't mind doing that a couple of times with some of the other stuff that we have just because I might want to run something up higher and it's, so it'll be nice to already have these kind of stackable posts here alright so let's hook that into where it belongs that into where it belongs go from this conveyor to there and then this miner to there and if I'm not mistaken everything should be hooked up this has no power why does this one have no power what got disconnected to where that one has no power in our system did I disconnect from the main line? It looks like I did. So let's just hook that up and we should start to see 
things do what it's supposed to do? No? Still no power! Okay. So hooked up to there, hooked up to there. There we go. I do believe that solved our slight power issue. Yes, it did. So now we can come over here and we'll start to see all the drills and mines starting to do their thing. What they have running was what was in their inventory. But we should start to see these guys producing a good bit again. And this one is starting to produce for the first time. And then way up here, let's kind of jump over. We should see it starting to get split off in each individual direction. Making iron ingots. Perfect. This one is, is just going to be feeding itself. This guy still has no power. Why? What did I forget along this line? Oh, I already see it. I forgot to connect this one to this one. That should kick all of those on. How are we doing on power? I did add uh, a couple more coal generators up top. So we should be good. I'm getting ready to turn on probably uh, six to eight more assemblers. And those are 15 megawatts each. So those are going to be tough. But then we should see stuff come into here. These have no power. Of course, because everything needs power. And I didn't give everything power. So why, why would I do such things as these? I don't understand. Um, okay, let's... Yeah, we should be okay to put a, a post there and then come over to and put a post there. Connect to that, connect to that, connect this one to you, connect to this, connect to that. And then let's just run a, a post all the way down here. That one's on the center line. Should be good. Connect to that. And then I need another post power line. There we go. That should get all of those going. And then I will have to do some of these so that the screws have a place to go. Like so. Alright, so those are going in, doing their thing. And then all of these are going to need places to go as well. I wanted to get some some storage down here for like threshold uh, you know supplies and whatnot so those plates are going around the way they should those screws are going around the way they should let's kind of climb up here are we seeing rods we are we're seeing screws I can only assume that everything is working the way that it should everything's coming up here we got plates on bottom rods on t uh, middle and screws on top. So this should be our screw box, should be our rod box, and this should be our plate box. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, so for the first couple of things that I'm gonna run over to the assembly factory, uh, we're gonna be making reinforced iron plates. So that means uh, I need two sets of reinforced iron plates because they are used for storage and modular frames. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run two sets of screws which is going to be two of these, just like so. Just kind of run them all the way over. And then two, uh, two sets of, wait, I need two sets of iron plates? Oh, man. Um, I didn't think about two sets of iron plates. I only have one set of iron plates being done. But... I think I'm going to split my storage because I have a lot of uh, iron plates in storage right now. So why don't we do this? Why don't we... We're going to pull some iron plates. We're going to pull two sets. Just uh, line that one up there. And then let's see. Can I throw a splitter on this row? Right like that. Uh, let's do it just a little bit back here. Like so. Uh, oh, that's not going to work. Let's see, can I actually just wrap that around to there? Okay. So that should be our iron plates doing its thing. Is this thing being held up by something? Looks like the production of ingots. But that should be doing 
well enough for what it is. I mean, it should be semi-quick. Once it backs up, I'm pretty sure this thing is backed up almost, yeah, to there. So it should be fine. So two things, iron plates. Let's go ahead and turn these just uh, kind of down this direction. Thinking that should be a good turn. That one there, and then that one there. And then we can just kind of run them, like I said, down almost all the way. Uh, I kind of want to split a little bit and go this way. You know what? Let's actually just do this. Oh, I can't afford it. I need more iron plates. Of course that's what I need. Iron plates. Uh, let's just take all 100 of that. And then we'll just run that to there. That to there. Now, it's a lot of big open space. But, again, this is something that we can adjust later. Oh, the belt is too long. All right, so let's put one here. Just like so. We can run that and run that. And then right to there and right to there. All right, that should be the start. Now we're going to need to run the these three on this side straight like this. All the way up to... Oh, wait, no. Is it is it all the way up? Oh, I never... Wait, where is that one supposed to go? Whoops. I screwed something up already. I don't know how I did it, but I did. Let's run this to there. Okay. So that should be plates. This one should be screws can't afford it. I'm out of plates again. Man, oh man. All right. The uh, stuff has actually ran over to the factory now. We just got to get it into the factory from where it needs to be. So, let's see. Can I run this down to there? No, it's too steep. Um, crapola. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so what? Can I run this one here? No. Can I run this one here? Yes! So can I run this to there? Okay, okay. So we got screws. Uh, let's run screws to there. And then we can run screws to there. Got plates that can be ran to there. And then plates that can be ran to there. Little, I mean, it's a little crisscrossy, but honestly, I mean, once this is automated, we're not going to be able to see this in any way, shape, or form. So this will be producing iron, reinforced iron plates, which are already got their outputs over here. Just going to take them a little bit to uh, get all of the stuff that they need. I might turn these into tier two conveyors. I don't think I have enough stuff to do that right now. Yeah, I only have 61. So tier 2 conveyors will make the screws a lot nicer. And this, I mean, it's not pretty, but it, it works. You know, it's, it's going to be doing its thing. So one of these will go to storage. One of these will go to the production of modular frames. And I think that's it. I think that's where I'm going to wrap up today's episode. I am going to go ahead and finish uh, kind of what I started. Get everything to where we were before. Uh, and probably let a good number of rotors and modular frames build up before the next episode. That way we can send more stuff into space via the space elevator. And, uh, yeah, just keep trucking along as far as uh, getting all this stuff made. So I think it's working really well. Um, I am glad to be spreading out a little bit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, uh, please subscribe for more content. And uh, we are... Also a part of the creator club on uh, supporter your creator on the Epic Game Store. So if you want, you can use the affiliate code in the uh, links below in the in the description. And if you purchase anything on the Epic Game Store, it will support my channel. It is an affiliate link, so all the proper details with that. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.